All right, so, so far I added four bones back here. If you want to add some more bones, it's very easy. Let's start with the breast bones. So, in layer two. It's very easy, just put this in line with the chest. Like to do something like that, like put it in line with the nipple, and then name this boob dot l, just like that. And if we need another one, subdivide it. This is now boob two dot l. You get the idea. So we're only going to use two. I mean, the more of these you add, the more better the. Uh, fake physics are going to be. I'm just using two for right now. And then I pull it down so that both bones fit in the volume of the breasts. Something like that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I mean, you don't have to be too exact with it. Just get it close as you can. These two here. Maybe they go out to the side a little bit, and this guy goes to the nipple. You also uh, select part of your model 3D cursor to selected faces if you want to like get it exact. But I'm not about getting things exact. Let's just get it close enough. That looks good to me. So. This bone we subdivided, I'm going to clear the parent. That way we can reparent it when, instead of using connected, use keep offset. That way they can individually move on their own. This guy, maybe move that down a bit. Actually, it's kind of fine where it is. So that boot parent, I'm going to pull that up a little bit higher. That guy goes to the boot pair. And then it symmetrizes that. That looks pretty good. So you got boop, boop 2, boob R, boop 2 R. Cool. Hit match to rig. To skin these, you can try to skin them with the voxels, and you'll probably get good results. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into edit mode, select uh, vert in the middle. You can see this has two faces in the middle, so one, two, on the x-axis. So really, I would want to select the circle there and grow that until it's about right there. That looks good to me. Looks like it could go higher, but, you know, you do what you got to do. Maybe deselect some of that on the inside and select some of that up there. I want this part to move with it. Sure. Um, that looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. And what I'll do is I will go in here and hit new and just call this boop.l and hit assign. If I hit select mirror, I can hit new, call this boob.r, hit assign. And then what I want to do next is come in here and select that circle again and just grow it so it's somewhere in the middle, maybe like that. That might look good. Hit new. This is boob 2.l. Hit assign. Hit new. Select mirror. This is boob 2.r. You get the idea. 
and then hit assign. Now when I go into pose mode and I move these, you can see they're already ready to go. They might not move all that good. So what I'll do is stretch them up and then hop into weight paint. Select one of these. You can see this guy needs to be smoothed. I don't know how much we'll smooth it by, maybe like that. And then if I select this guy over here, I can then just repeat that with smooth. This guy, smooth. And that guy, smooth. And select here. What I want to do now is select each of these and just add the spring bones on it. Just so that we can get some sort of movement going. You know, see how they would behave. You know, get an idea of how they're going to behave with the uh, Kawaii physics. So if I hit play, start interactive mode. Come around. You can see they're working. They're not working particularly good, but they're working. So what do we got to do to make these work nicer? So they're not so jittery. Well, what we can do is pull one of these guys, pull them up. You can see as we move them up and down, the chest area is not something we want included too much of. So if I set like Z up, see what that does. And then when I pull on this guy, he might be pulling on the chest area too. He kind of is. So if I pull that up and I go into white paint, you can see all the areas where it's being affected. Um, if I select mirror symmetry, when I unpaint from here, it'll unpaint from the other side too, which is what I want. So I can always just zero, paint over this side. You can see I'm on boop too. So I might want to depaint a lot of the middle of the breast to get rid of that. You get the idea, we're just depainting it like that. And then once we depaint it, get here on the under side. And then we hit weights, smooth. Not that much though. Like let's go with like five or six. I think six works pretty good. And if I select the other guy, I can just say weights, smooth. And go into here, you can see there's a lot. Probably shouldn't be selected. So if I just start depainting, oh, you could even use the gradient to depaint that. Like tuck it in, clean it up a little bit more. select the other one. You can see it did not mirror. When you use the gradient tool it doesn't mirror those changes. So what you can do is go into white paint, select this guy, go into the white selection, you can see it says boob.l. I will delete that. Select this guy. Uh, for I, yeah, I'm going to do it this way. Copy vertex group, name this whatever for now, and then hit mirror vertex group, and then name this boob dot r or dot l, my bad, dot l, just like that, and then hit weights smooth, and then select this guy and go weights smooth, and this should look a lot nicer. There you go. So 
I then go into here and turn on my spring bones. You see it's acting a lot more naturally even if I turn on rotation. It should still look pretty good. go in here and turn on rotation on both pectoral bones and yeah that's about it so obviously you could do a better job weight painting it if you spend time with it but you know for something fast that works pretty good and the same logic you applied to the um, pectoral bones you could apply to the abdomen bones and all that so like these guys here they don't have any weight groups yet if I go into edit mode and I selected one of these vertices If you just smooth over these weights, you can see they pull on each other, but it's probably not that big a deal. So if I enable this, go under your spring bones, turn on spring for each, and rotation I guess. pretty good. Now when I just grab it and move, you can see it's tugging a little bit on each end. Um, if you'd like to create a sharp transition, just go into white paint. Say for example this one here, L and R, right? Well, if 
I go into edit mode and I select the vert in the middle and select side of active. You can see it doesn't actually select it in the half. But if I go in here, if I go into edit mode, select a vert down the middle, hit select side of active. That can give me a bit cleaner of a selection sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. You can see this time it didn't actually select the ones in the middle all that clean. So if I turned off the X symmetry, you can see there are some faces left over on the inside. So if I grab and pull, grab and pull, you can see which ones got selected in the middle. Down the center one. And then if I select the right side, I can hit remove. Then I got the second one on the right side, remove it. And if you invert the selection, then you can go to the left side and remove that. So it's the same process over again. You just repeat the same steps and it'll work out. So that's for left and then this would be for left. Maybe that'll work better. You see the thighs got affected. But if I select this and then I turn on X mirror on both. You can see it's this guy that's clipping into both of these. So with the weight is zero, just depaint it. If it doesn't mirror it over, just delete the vertex group and copy the vertex group and mirror it and then rename it. There's a bit sharper of a transition. The transition being sharp there isn't that big a deal. We'll add more bones around with thighs and turn it up. Yeah, that's all there is to it. So on this model, I'm going to add a multi-resolution subdivide at one time. So it's a little bit higher poly when it goes in. It looks a little bit nicer. And then I can turn off spring bone. Don't need that on. Oh wait, almost forgot. Your um, custom bones. All of the custom bones. There's a lot of them. You can see this guy, these guys, anywhere you added extra bones, you're going to want to add those to the custom bone list. See, there's quite a bit of them now. <laughs> 
So yeah, inside the uh, Auto Rig Pro add-on. Go to export and hit set custom bones. That way they actually export to Unreal. And I think what we're going to do is edit reference bones and make sure that these are connected to the right parents. So they say butt parent, and they say butt 2 to butt L. These say boot parent, which is correct. So just make sure your bones are in the right spot. Match to rig. There you go. Subdivision surfaces won't work, but if you're using a multi-res modifier, that'll actually get applied when you export with auto rig, even when you're using shape keys, which is pretty handy. it it's gonna throw you an error but don't worry oh no it didn't okay so those parents that we made before we set up our custom bones um, that's why we made those parents that way when we re-import our model everything stays perfectly okay so you can see everything's working pretty good and they should be here yeah but parent but L but R Move them around. Let's close that. I want to show you guys how to set up Cowway physics on it. So, to do that, I can just go into plugins and just copy this guy. To, to get this out on, just go to Google, type Cowway physics on Real Engine 5. And in the releases page, download the 5.2 or 5.3 add-on, whichever version you have. Yeah, it's very easy to set up. So I'm going to right-click my skeletal mesh and hit create and create a physics asset. Not physics asset, a uh, animation blueprint. Call this squid is. Go in here, type the word physics, and assign it. Turn that on. And you can see it already got assigned. So when I go in here, I can type and put pose. And that goes in there. Kawai, make Kawai physics settings. Pull that to the side and type Kawai physics. Set this to one of the parents you made. So if I just type the word parent, you see we have a whole bunch. So if I said noob parent, we can plug that directly in. And it goes into there. We could duplicate that, and before we duplicate it, select the boot parent, and under physics settings, switch it to expose this pin, and then you can plug that in. 
That way when you plug in others, it'll add to it. So we could use the same physics setting for both for right now. So if I just compile and save that and hop in the game, they should already be active. And if they're not, then you yeah, set this to but parent. Just like that. This is on boot parent, which is good. Compile, save. Double check that your skeletal mesh is using that. Post process blueprint squid fizz. There we go. And when you hop in game, it's gonna work, but it's gonna look weird. And you can see that you get in the movement, but it's going through the model. It's clipping right through. It's obviously not what we want. So what you need to do is set world damp location to one, and rotation could be free. So this is going to make sure that it doesn't displace from your model. You could add a little displacement, but just keep it pretty, pretty small. That way it doesn't clip. You can see now it works pretty good. Yeah, shoulders to it. Pretty easy, huh? Now that you got physics working, you could add these everywhere. And you can see if we added thigh bones. You could just put them on the thigh parent and everything would be working right. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Like none of this is complicated. We jump. Everything works pretty good. You can add a little displacement to it, but just keep it pretty tiny. Just so it's not like all over the place. But yeah. So there is to it. Next video I make, I uh, probably won't do anything with the squid. I'll probably work on a different character. I want to go over like multi-resolution sculpting and putting that in Unreal. Like maybe do something with additive animations, like create like a push-up effect. There you go. You got your character, you got your physics. All you gotta do is make some materials and you got something pretty competent looking. <laughs> Alright. Alright, hopefully that's been helpful. See you.